there how's it going welcome to loop learnings this is video number 21 and we are going to proceed with making the login form for our payroll management system if you are new to my channel or if you are returning welcome and welcome back thank you very much for um, watching my video i hope that you will like it i hope that you will learn something from it and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do that and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video so for payroll management system we have created almost all the forms except two one is login form the other one is dashboard so in this video i'm going to focus purely on login form how to make a login form and then in next one or two videos we are going to focus on how to make a dashboard okay so uh, let's quickly jump into uh, making form and to do that I'll go in ribbon tab I'll click on create and then I'll click on form design once I do that I get the blank canvas and I will right away change some of the um, properties of this form so first thing first I would like to make make this form as you know auto center yes and then I would like to uh, turn the record selectors off navigation button off uh, I would like to um, remove the scroll bars either vertical or horizontal both because you know this is going to be a single form we don't really need the uh, scroll bars in this case control box I do want but I don't want the close button because we'll create a cancel login button etc something like that I don't want min max as well so I'm going to choose um, only the none none option so I don't want any min max um, the form is movable no let's keep that as no because this is going to be a login form now one more thing I would like to do is go to others other tab and turn pop-up on and model also on okay now if I go to the form design form view I get this nice uh, pop-up form but I want this form to be open uh, on the ent uh, entire window entire screen so I'll we'll, uh, right click design view and I go to the event tab and on load event dot 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 and you guys know that first thing first I like to do is error handling which I'm going to do later on uh, right now just fo let's focus on do cmd dot maximize so I want this form to be maximized when it opens so control s it will ask us to save the form so we'll give a form name so we'll say login f okay so the form is saved and uh, we will close this and uh, let's open it so form view good so we have got full form and we'll go right design uh, design view right click and then I'll go to design I want two text boxes and one button at the moment so I extend the width of it and I say user name okay and let's increase the width of this as well let's go to the home tab and make this font color as full black and okay and let's name it with like txt user name okay now select that and make another copy of it and you say password so and like we did for username we will change the field name so password okay so that is done now let's grab a button at the moment let's make only a login button for cancel login we will uh, later on we will see so first is a login let's give a name btn login okay so that's the name of the button we go to the event tab and on click event dot 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 code builder and here we are okay so 
how do we uh well first of all we need to um check the username and password whatever user has entered in these two text boxes is correct or not so we'll check one by one so first we'll check the username then we'll check the password if both are correct exist in database then it should allow us to uh, get into the application otherwise it should throw an error okay so how do we do that well we use record sets and with the help of record sets we uh, perform this activity so we'll say dim rs as records rs is record set set rs equals to current db dot open record set what is the name of record set in this case we are referring to emp profile why because it holds the user and password information so that would be our uh, record set name db open snapshot comma db read only okay that is done now we will write a line of code saying that if uh, there is no username that user has entered then through an error and exit the code block that's what we are going to do if rs dot no match is equal to true then do cmd dot p message box uh, the provided user name does not exist in the database or something like that you know which user can immediately uh, wrong email incorrect email whatever uh, you can draft your own you can decide what message user is going to get so that is done we will set the focus as well so me dot um, txt username dot set focus I have forgot the most important thing here right and that is first of all we we are telling the Microsoft access that hey if there is no match no match of what Microsoft access is not aware of it yet we have to define that and I completely forgot about that I just remembered it I don't know I forgot how I forgot so I apologize we will actually first have to tell Microsoft Access what Microsoft Access has to find. In this case, Microsoft has to Access has to go to Employee Profile table and look for the user um, column or user field. Okay, so we'll say rs dot find first. That's that should be before rs dot no match. So I again I don't know how I forgot John forgot to do that generally I don't but anyway uh, it happens so find first user which is single quote double quote why single quote double quote because user is a string right so if we are uh, finding a string value we provide this single quote as well a single quote as well along with the double quote okay emphasand me dot txt username dot value emphasand double quote single quote double quote that's how it is now we are asking to check if there is if this is no match if no match then throw a match message box and say hey the provided user does not exist in the database and then you set the focus as well after you have done that you exit the subroutine right and close it with end if so that was for the username only okay now we have to repeat kind of repeat the same for the password so we'll say if rs exclamation mark password make sure the spells are correct is not equal to me dot txt password or is null if the me.txt uh, password 
is equal to true then so we are telling Microsoft Access if the password field is null which means doesn't have any password or the password is incorrect and it's not matching with the database then also through an error so to, to save yours and my time I'm going to copy and paste and we'll say provided um, password password for the user does not exist in the database here we will set the focus to password field okay um, and similarly if we will uh, if the subroutine should be exit and it should be closed with and if if these two are false which means the username or user id and password is correct then go ahead and log on to the system and present us with the dashboard well dashboard we don't have yet so that means you have to uh, you, you have to at least provide at this point of time at least provide um, an option or message box to yourself telling that the code that you have written was success or failure so that's what we are going to do that we'll say d do cmd dot beep and we will throw a message box to ourselves welcome to loop payroll management system simple as that and that would become our login routine okay now let's go ahead and test it out so i'll save the table we'll go to the form view and in here we will provide the username and password so at the moment if i click say the provided username does not exist in the database let's say i gave a wrong loop login again same error the provided username does not exist and if i change it to lwp which is the correct one and learnings so let's say learning the provided password for the user does not exist because password is incorrect and i have to provide with s and then i click on login and now it says welcome to loop payroll management system which means the user name passwords are correct and therefore you have successfully log on to the uh, the application that's about it that's what i wanted to demonstrate this is how you can make a login screen very very useful and i'm sure uh, this video has added some value and if you like whatever you have seen uh, please uh, smash the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one